Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the 600th video of this channel. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding analyze subscription conversion. The difficulty level of this question is medium and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads, we are given a table called user activity with four different columns, user ID, activity date, activity type and activity duration. The combined columns user ID, activity date and activity type is the unique key for this table. Activity type is one of free trial, paid or cancelled. Activity duration is the number of minutes the user spent on the platform that day. Each row represents a user's activity on a specific date. Okay. A subscription service wants to analyze user behavior patterns. The company offers a 7-day free trial after which users can subscribe to a paid plan or cancel. We are asked to write a solution to find users who converted from free trial to paid subscription, calculate each user's average daily activity duration during their free trial period, round it to two decimal places. We are also required to calculate each user's average daily activity duration during their paid subscription period, round it to two decimal places as well. We need to return the result table ordered by user ID in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through the example. Here we have uh, several different user IDs, uh, apparently four different user IDs, their activity date, activity type, and if we look at activity duration. Okay, so now what we need to do is firstly, let's see who all converted from free trial to paid. So user ID one converted from free trial to paid, then for user ID two, was on free trial but cancelled the subscription so should not be in the output three did and four converted to paid but then cancelled so four should also be in the output so one two and four should be in the output now to get the average duration between free trial you can just calculate for user id one the average of 45 30 60 in the paid time 75 plus 90 plus 65 divided by three similarly we can go ahead and do that for user id three and four and that is what we have in our output right so to solve this question, what we can do is firstly from this table, let us group by the user ID and then calculate the average duration, activity duration by activity type. So how can we do that is from this table called user activity, let us group by the user ID column. Then we need to return this for every user ID and let's calculate the average activity duration during the free trial period so let's do case when your activity type is equal to free trial right then what you do is then you return me the column value activity duration so activity duration else you return me null values end the case statement and then what we need to do is we need to calculate the average. Now you calculate the average of this entire thing, but it should also be rounded to two decimal places, right? Average daily du activity duration during the free trial period rounded to two decimal places. So now what we do is round this entire thing to two decimal places. And this should be aliased as what is required in our output. It should be called trial average duration so let me just copy this paste it here okay so now this is going to give us trial average duration we need to do the exact same thing for the paid so what we can do is we can just copy this entire thing so paste it here activity type here it should be paid right if you look at this table right so it should say paid and your alias is going to be what is required in our output so that is called paid average duration okay now, so this is going to calculate the, for every user ID, trial average duration, paid average duration rounded to two decimal places. Let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output. So now what we have here is we have the user ID, trial average duration and paid average duration. Now, why this is still a wrong answer? Because if you look at user ID 2, which we were discussing that it was never converted from trial to a paid, right? Here, if you look at this example, it was so free trial and then cancelled. So users like this should not be in the output. Why? Because the first condition of our ask is we need to find users who converted from free trial to paid subscription. 
how can you do that is either you can you know save this entire thing in a common table expression then you know try to find out who all have activity type free trial as well as paid etc but there is a smarter way you can do this so here it says if you look at this since this person did not convert to paid average duration so the paid average duration is going to be null in this case so if you filter out these rows you can already reach your final answer but how do you filter it out so you see this null value is basically aggregate of the column that you created right let me just you know drag it to the left so this is the column that we created you know paid average duration by you know doing that activity type equal to paid return mean activity duration else null since there was no paid activity for user id 2 so it returned null and you do the average and round it off it is still null so what you can do is if you use this as a filter but as an aggregate filter so using a having clause then you can directly filter so what i'm saying is you group by this but having right so having what you are going to calculate the average of the paid activity duration copy this this should be is not null okay now if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah even though this is accepted but still there is something left but yeah if you look at this the user id 2 was filtered out so you see how you can smartly do this instead of you know expanding your query length now the only thing that remains is we need to return this output ordered by user id in ascending order so let us do order by user id let me go ahead and run this again so now yeah this is accepted if we look at our output our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this is past all the test cases or not so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah somewhat tricky question might be lengthy in some cases if you go the common table expression or sub query route but what we basically did was from this user activity since we need for every user id who converted from a free trial to a paid subscription the average activity duration so we grouped by the user id got the average duration for free trial as well as paid but since the question specifically mentions that we need only people who converted from free trial to paid subscription so we put a aggregate filter using the having clause that your paid activity duration should not be null then only you can say that the person converted from free trial to a paid subscription so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better more efficient solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video